Now, what you want to do now is you want to think about, as a parent, you want to make sure the kids are fed all week and you make one big batch and everything else. And the way I do it is I make a massive big pot of stew like this and then I try to make it smart. Smile? Sort of smart. Oh, well, I was going to say. That's smart. Nice. <laughs> make the stew smile, that's it. I make it oh. smart. I make you smile. That's <laughs> it. So the first one is good old-fashioned beef bourguignon. Yeah. Which is the sort of smart, you know, Creamy. classic. Yeah, with mashed potatoes, served at the dinner oh. parties, all that sort of stuff. Really simply, you've got your beef stew, which is cooked for two hours. Yeah. Then what you do in a pan is just heat a little bit of bacon, mm. just to start it to, to cook a little bit. Yeah. Add to that some shallots, mm -hmm. little white shallots cut in half. And the only reason you're doing this is just to get a little bit of flavour in them, because they're now, once they've done all this, they then get popped into your stew, oh. which has been cooking for two hours, back into the oven for another hour. Oh, right. Now, you can do this. So that's your beef bourguignon. That gives you... That's all you've got to do, and you've suddenly got beef bourguignon. So that just... Warm that up gently, wow. and you go, and away you go. Now, if you do that, you could do potatoes and carrots to make a classic, good old-fashioned stew, whatever you want to do. But first stage, cook your stew for two hours, mm -hmm. then all your other garnish and bits, add it in for the last hour. Right, got you. Otherwise, it turns to mush. Mm. Right. And the last thing you want to do is have lots and lots can, and lots Can of you mush. make a massive, great big pot of that, and then... Take it out. I'm going to have that for that, that for that, that for that, and then freeze it all. Oh, that's good exactly idea. what this is exactly what this is all about. Right. So what I do sometimes is, for instance, if you just that, that's a bit warm that one, if you just slide that this way. Oh, Careful. Right. I sometimes do a stew, and I'll have some in the freezer in bags, and I'll also get an animal dish like this, and I'll plop some in there and let it cool down, and then put some pastry over the top and leave a note for the kids. It's in there. All you've got to do is put it in the oven for 200 degrees for 20 minutes, and you've got yourself dinner. I don't have to be home. It's a pie, ready to go. It's got pastry, can it's we, got can mushrooms. We, can we yeah, have yeah. a little? Going? Yeah. How that do you. Up. Just, just ch chomp in like Should a normal pie. Go? Yeah, normal pie. OK, that's I didn't want to ruin it. No, that's all right. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Ruining so, it for who? I yeah. don't know, because it looks <laughs> so you. nice. It's made for us. I know, you're right. What am I talking about? So now about? you've got... So you've got those mushroom bits. So once that's been added... Hang I'm on, I'm going to take the lid... Oh, my God, I'm making a right mess. Help me. Don't worry about the mess. Help me! OK, I've got a big pot of stew Hold on, look. Here you go. Look, here you go. Oh, you've got one stew. there. Yeah, I've got a pot of stew first. Look, I'm not going to leave you to be hungry. Look, so this now is the done, which has been done. Two hours, then an hour. So you've now got three hours worth of cooking. And you've got yourself oh, a big pot my. of stew. Now, I'm going to gift you something, because this is the starting point of that. Yeah. There is some mashed potato there covered with cling film. Make your mash, cover with cling film, will last 20 minutes hot. Really? Yeah, just sit, sit around, it'll be 20 minutes. So there's mm. that. Now, here's the most mm -mm. weird way of using your leftover stew. The leftover stew... Mm. So you've got some friends that come around and you want to be a bit different. You've got your leftover stew in the freezer. Bring it out into a pan. Some olives. Olives? Olives. A little bit of olive oil. And then add to that a whole lot of pappardella. Oh, well, right. Oh. And suddenly... You've got yourself a bowl of pasta and ragu. Now, people say, why don't you strain that, strain that, that water off? Don't strain the water from the pasta. Use that to thicken it up. So suddenly you've got a pie, a bourguignon, a basic stew. I've made some of dumplings over there. Yeah, I noticed as this. As well. So that's the same but with dumplings. Just with dumplings, yeah. Put dumplings on top. Mm -hmm. That's all you've got to do. What? Make this heat up a little bit. Add a load of chopped parsley to it. Oh my gosh, that mashed potato and that beef bourguignon is it's just look, what I want, Like you said, Philip, I want people to make big pots of things and then actually freeze and some. Is, is that beef cheaper because it's a shin? Is that quite an, an, an expensive cut? Well, this whole lot cost me £6.50 to do it. I wow. worked out that you can do about a pound fifty a portion. Look, there you go. That's amazing. Pasta, dumplings, pie, stew. Mashed potato and satisfied presenters. We, the, we very really satisfied are. presenters. That, I'm not leaving until we finish the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You, Always Lovely to see you.